Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, and I know uh, time is getting late, but just a few uh, brief wrap-up comments uh, as this brings us to the end of our 25th annual conference. Uh, we set out uh, to provide you, our, our members and our stakeholders, with an update uh, on progress on delivering our part of the post-crisis reform agenda uh, and uh, a sense of the issues that we're grappling with as we look to our future uh, agenda. I hope the message was clear. Uh, first of all, that we remain very much on track uh, with delivering our part of our, of our current commitments. Uh, and secondly, certainly a lot of food for thought, very rich food for thought uh, as we advance our work uh, in the years ahead into our next strategic chapter. In line with our conference theme, uh, together we've spent the past day and a half uh, reimagining insurance uh, in a rapidly changing global environment. Lots to think about, uh, maybe a few takeaways from my side. I think, uh, first of all, we should not think of this uh, brave new world as we described it, as something that is uh, far off in the future. This is something uh, that is here and now. So in making technology and its impact on supervisory uh, practices an IIS priority, uh, and mindful of the work we've already done, uh, there's clearly uh, much still to be done. Questions like, what is the intersection between insurance supervision and data protection regulation? What are good supervisory practices with respect to the use of artificial in intelligence in underwriting, which we just heard about, uh, and good conduct supervision? How should supervisors inter interact with tech, with tech startups to create an enabling environment for innovation whilst at the same time uh, ensuring that reg the regulatory framework is properly understood uh, and adhered to. So these questions, I think, are clearly going to challenge how we think about our role as insurance supervisors. In Gabriel's words, it's going to be a very exciting time ahead. I think there's clearly great enthusiasm to take on these challenges amongst our membership uh, as we look to our next uh, chapter uh, and there's also great opportunities to enhance our future collaboration with stakeholders on these items. Uh, secondly, I think it's also clear that our future agenda will increasingly pivot also to issues of sustainable economic development and resilience. The role of the insurance sector in this regard is very clear, uh, but it also, uh, I think, is increasingly clear that insurance supervision matters as well. So our challenge, uh, which I think we must tackle with urgency, is what specific steps and practices we as insurance supervisors need to, to take to be part of the solution. So let's move from intention to thinking about specific actions uh, as soon as possible, and I think that's something we can very much do in coordination with our in industry and development partners. So I think, in closing, there's a, there's a fantastic energy uh, and confidence that I'm feeling about this association and its agenda going forward uh, that also makes me extremely bullish about uh, our future. It's evident in our panel discussions, our one-on-one -on -one exchanges, our audience engagement, uh, and I, I'm very uh, optimistic about the future. This was our largest ever annual conference, 460 participants, uh, so let's hit 500 next year. Uh, and I look forward to welcoming you, you all at our global seminar in Buenos Aires next year in June. Uh, the 13th and 14th of June, to be precise, so mark it in your diaries, uh, and our annual conference in Abu Dhabi on the uh, 14th and 15th of November. But before I close, there are many to thank, uh, not least of which our host, uh, to Claude Virion uh, and his whole team 
from the Luxembourg CAA. This has been a fantastic annual conference. So, first of all, oh, oh, warm. Uh, voicing of thanks. Uh, your hospitality, not only in the conference, but throughout the whole week uh, for our meetings as well, has been, has been impeccable. I, everyone I speak to has been truly impressed with the venue and the organization, so, and the hospitality. It's been fantastic to be in Luxembourg. It was my first time, others as well, and uh, I look forward to coming back. Um, uh, and to your whole team, in fact, uh, in particular, uh, Anik, I'm not sure if she's here, but fantastic work. But Anik, Eve, Fabian, Tanya, Christoph, uh, Luke, Sandra, Amia, Karen from the uh, uh, conference organizer, Gabrielle, our MC, fantastic job. Uh, and Victor, I'm not sure if Victor Rod is here, but Victor, uh, well done on a fantastic idea of having the conference here six years ago. Uh, of course, in addition to our hosting team, uh, to my secretariat team as well. Uh, all the people behind the scenes, uh, fantastic work. Uh, they've had a real pleasure working with the hosting team, uh, and I know they've been tireless in their efforts, so please join me, give a hand to the secretariat team as well. Uh, and finally, I'd like to thank you, our IIS members uh, and our stakeholders. It's been a really uh, dynamic, interactive, fantastic uh, annual conference. It's, it's been great. Uh, safe travels home, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in Buenos Aires next year. And this concludes our 21st annual uh, conference. Thank you.